Hallmark's A Tale of Love stars Brittany Bristow, WCTA's Chris McNally. Welcome to my channel, Hallmark's Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. And I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Hallmark's Spring Into Love closes with A Tale of Love. This movie stars Brittany Bristow, Love, Romance and Chocolate, The Story of Love, Chris McNally, When Calls the Heart Riverdale, Humberly Gonzales, Guinea and Georgia, Fallen Angels Murder Club, Heroes and Felons, Jane Eastwood, Baking All the Way, Workin' Moms, Neil Crone, When Hope Calls, Ten Truths About Love, Stephanie Moore, Degrassi, Next Class, The Hot Zone, Russell Ewan, Raising Sons, You Don't Know Dick, Michael Blake, A Fellow, The Lost Symbol, Toya Alexis, Rookie Blue, The Pacifier, Nasia Peters, Happy Place, Castle in the Ground, and Denise Tremblay, Carter. A Tale of Love is a very special sort of dog rescue story. Here are the details. What is Hallmark's A Tale of Love about? According to the Hallmark synopsis, Bella Bristow runs a dog rescue with her grandmother Lily, Jane Eastwood. This is a passion project started by her late grandfather. The rescue's future is put into question when they discover they're losing funding from their main sponsor. The sponsor is a dog food company being sold following the owner's passing. Gerard McNally, the late owner's son, is a soldier who is home on leave to handle the details of the sale. However, when visiting the rescue, GR quickly bonds with Indy, Moxie, a retired military dog. Moreover, he continues to stop by to spend time with his new four-legged friend. When Bella learns that the rescue's property is also being sold, she turns to GR for help in finding the missing document proving her grandparents purchased the land many years before. In the process, Bella and GR become close and start to fall for each other. But Jira's upcoming return to active duty could put a halt to their budding romance. When can you watch Hallmark's A Tale of Love? Hallmark's A Tale of Love premieres on Saturday, April 23, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Encore showings include Sunday, April 24, at 6 p.m. and Thursday, April 28, at 8 p.m., all times Eastern. Brittany Bristow's Family Connection Leaf Bristow Love on Safari, Rising Suns, Directed A Tale of Love, Agnes Bristow, Wildlife Quest, Wrote the Teleplay, From a Story by Kim Saltarsky, Leo's Fishheads, The League of Super Evil, Richard Beatty, Rising Suns, Insomnia, and Agnes Bristow, Dancing Through the Shadow. If there seems to be a lot of Bristows here, it is no coincidence. Ains and Leaf Bristow are Brittany's parents. They often work together. Therefore, it should be no surprise that Brittany is pretty excited about this movie. She wrote on Instagram, We're all in the mood for love and puppies. A Tale of Love will be premiering Saturday, April 23rd on at Hallmark Channel, and I'm so excited to share it with you all. Co-star Humberly Gonzales commented, Can't he wait to share what we made? Don't miss the premiere of A Tale of Love on Saturday, April 23, at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. The small town of Maplewood was a place where time seemed to slow down, where neighbors knew each other by name, and where the air always carried the sweet scent of blooming flowers. Nestled among rolling hills and lush green meadows, Maplewood was the kind of town that felt like a warm embrace, a place where everyone had a story and every story had a heart. It was in this picturesque setting that Hallmark's latest film, A Tale of Love, was set to unfold, a story brimming with romance, laughter, and the unbreakable bond between humans and their furry companions. Starring Brittany Bristow, known for her captivating performances in Hallmark favorites, and Chris McNally, beloved for his role in When Calls the Heart, the film promised to be a heartwarming journey that would tug at the heartstrings of viewers everywhere. The story began on a sun-drenched morning, as rays of golden light filtered through the trees, casting a warm glow over Maplewood's charming Main Street. The town was buzzing with anticipation, for today marked the grand opening of Paws and Whiskers, a pet adoption center that had been the dream of its owner, Lightly Harper, Brittany Bristow, for as long as she could remember. 
Lily had always had a special connection with animals, a gift passed down from her grandmother, who had taught her the importance of kindness and compassion. Growing up, Lily spent countless hours at her grandmother's side, tending to stray animals and nursing them back to health. Now, as an adult, she had turned that passion into a mission, creating a sanctuary where abandoned pets could find loving homes and second chances. As Lily stood at the entrance of Paws and Whiskers, her heart swelled with pride. The center was a labor of love, and she had poured her heart and soul into every detail, from. The grand opening was a community affair, with townsfolk gathering to show their support and curiosity. Children giggled with excitement as they peered into the kennels, while adults admired the facility and congratulated Lily on her accomplishment. Among the crowd was a tall, handsome man with a warm smile and twinkling eyes. Jack Thompson, Chris McNally, a local veterinarian who had recently moved to Maplewood. Jack had heard about Lily's endeavor and was eager to lend his support. As a veterinarian, he had seen firsthand the impact that a loving home could have on an animal's life, and he admired Lily's dedication to making a difference. He watched as she interacted with the visitors, her genuine love for the animals evident in every gesture and word. Lily, this place is incredible, Jack said as he approached her, extending a hand in greeting. I'm Jack Thompson, the new vet in town. It's a pleasure to meet you. Lily's eyes lit up with recognition. Oh, Dr. Thompson, I've heard so much about you. Thank you for coming. It's wonderful to finally meet you in person. Jack chuckled. Please call me Jack. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with what you've done here. The animals are lucky to have someone like you looking out for them. A blush crept up Lily's cheeks as she smiled. Thank you, Jack. That means a lot coming from you. I've always believed that every animal deserves a chance to be loved and cared for. Their conversation flowed naturally, as if they had known each other for years. They shared stories of their experiences with animals, their dreams for the future, and their hopes for paws and whiskers. It was a meeting of kindred spirits, bound by a shared passion and a desire to make the world a better place for their furry friends. As the day drew to a close and the visitors began to disperse, Jack offered to stay and help Lily with the cleanup. Together, they tidied the center, their camaraderie growing with each passing moment. There was an undeniable chemistry between them, a spark that hinted at the promise of something more. Over the weeks that followed, Jack and Lily found themselves spending more and more time together. Jack became a regular visitor at Paws and Whiskers, offering his veterinary expertise and lending a hand whenever needed. He admired Lily's unwavering dedication and the way she treated each animal with kindness and respect. For Lily, Jack's presence was a source of comfort and joy. His genuine care for the animals and his easygoing nature made her feel at ease, and she looked forward to their time together. One sunny afternoon, as they walked through the nearby park with a group of adoptable dogs, Jack turned to Lily with a thoughtful expression. Lily, have you ever thought about hosting an adoption event here in the park? It could be a great way to showcase the animals and find them loving homes. Lily's eyes sparkled with excitement. That's a fantastic idea, Jack. We could set up booths, have activities for the kids, and maybe even offer some of your veterinary services. It would be a wonderful way to bring the community together and help the animals find their forever homes. With their minds buzzing with ideas, they set to work planning the event. The weeks leading up to the adoption fair were a whirlwind of activity as they organized volunteers, gathered supplies, and spread the word throughout Maplewood. The community rallied behind them, eager to support the cause and be part of something special. The day of the adoption fair dawned bright and clear. The park transformed into a lively hub of activity. Booths lined the pathways, offering everything from pet supplies to homemade treats, while the sound of children's laughter filled the air. At the heart of it all was a large, colorful banner that read, Paws and Whiskers Adoption Fair. As the event got underway, Lily and Jack moved through the crowd, greeting visitors and introducing them to the animals. There were heartwarming moments as families met their new furry companions, and tears of joy as bonds were formed and lives were changed. For Lily, seeing the animals find loving homes was the realization of a dream, a testament to the power of love and compassion. Amidst the hustle and bustle, there was one dog that had captured Lily's heart, 
a gentle golden retriever named Max, who had been at Paws and Whiskers since the beginning. Max had a kind soul and a loving nature, but he had yet to find his perfect match. As the day wore on and the fair drew to a close, Lily couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness at the thought of Max returning to the center. Sensing her emotions, Jack placed a comforting hand on her shoulder. Lily, Max will find his home. It just might take a little more time. Lily nodded, blinking back tears. I know Jack. I just want him to be as happy as the other animals. He deserves a family that will love him unconditionally.